Hi, I'm Luke Sierveld. Welcome to another episode of Meet the Gaffer. Today we're going to compare two lights. Uh, one light's been around for a while, and the other light is relatively new on the scene. So uh, the new one is this uh, HSX. It's um, a bicolor soft light by Cineo Lighting. And we're going to compare it to the S60 sky panel by Airy. Airy, Ari, tomato, tomato. Uh, as you can see, um, their fronts are uh, relatively the same. You know, they've got, uh, Airy has a little larger um, uh, surface, but, uh, you know, sort of a white translucent front and makes it a nice soft light right out of the box. You don't even have to put, you know, diffusion in front of it. Often you do, or you're bouncing it or whatever, but um, it's pretty nice to have a soft light with a lot of output right out of the gate. Uh, if you see them side by side on their side angle, you can see I attached the uh, ballast to the S60 just to give you an idea of, um, you know, that it's about the same uh, depth uh, when, is, when you compare it to the HSX, which has its ballast attached permanently. So you're not taking this off. Uh, whereas you can take it off uh, on the Airy, but um, either way, you've got all these cables that you've got to hook up, uh, you know, to the unit, to power, uh, whereas with the HSX, you just have the one power cable. So that's pretty nice, um, the fact that you have it, um, this has gotten twisted here, um, the, the fact that it's all, all in one and, um, you know, you're not having to deal with losing cables uh, uh, or uh, breaking them or stepping on them, whatever, uh, maintenance. Uh, I did want to add that the uh, HSX comes with uh, Wi-Fi built in. So it's not something you need to add, you know, with a receiver, um, it's, it's already there. Now, if you're, you just want to do it, you know, hardwire, no problem. Uh, that's just like the uh, sky panel. You know, you've got your in out for the DMX, but you'd have to add a receiver uh, if you wanted to go Wi Fi. Um, so now I think we're just going to go ahead and um, turn it on and uh, show you a, a few simple things just in, the, in the, uh, the way it's run. You've got two knobs, so one for uh, brightness and one for color temp. Uh, there's two ways of using these knobs. Uh, just, you know, generally speaking, you can uh, bump through uh, intensity. So you start at 20%, 40%, 60%, 80, 100, or you can dial in as you uh, wish. Um, now, one cool thing is that when you do bump through uh, from 20 to 40, you've gone uh, you've added a further stop of light. So each bump through is another stop of light. That's a pretty clever way of uh, setting that up. Uh, with the uh, button on the right, the gold button, you, uh, you start with 2700, then you've got 3200, 4300, 5600, and 6000 Kelvin. So uh, that's if you just want to bump through quickly uh, or you can dial it in uh, as you wish as well. Okay, so now let's um, uh, let's turn both these guys on and uh, and meter them up. Um, I'm not going to go through you know the the dials and modes and stuff like that for the sky panel. That'll be uh, on another uh, episode. All right, let's compare these two lights uh, first in terms of intensity at different color temperatures. So we'll start with the HSX at 3200. We'll just go 3200, 4300 and 5600. Okay, so HSX 3200, we've got, okay, so 255 at 3200, 4300, we've got, I saw 300 for a minute there, yeah, 297, 298, so uh, right about 300, and then here's 5600, to, yeah, 220, 224, 225. So because the HSX is using warm and cool LEDs, on the cooler end of the spectrum, you'll have a little less intensity, and on the warmer end of the spectrum, you have a little less intensity. But when they come together in the middle, then you're gonna have 
uh, a little more. So, you know, in the 300 foot candle range uh, at the 4300. So that, that kind of makes sense. Um, okay, so now let's test this against the uh, sky panel. Okay, so we have the sky panel, uh, full intensity, 100%, and uh, this is 3200. So at 3200, we've got 273, 275. Okay, 275. Now let's try 4300. Okay, 100% and 4300 Kelvin. And we've got 298, 300. 300 foot candles. And here we've got 5600 and yeah, 296, 295. So, um, because they're, they're RGB uh, LEDs, you have a sort of more consistent uh, output at the different color temps. Now let's try uh, color, see how color does. Uh, color compares. Okay, here's uh, 3200 Kelvin, and we're using the Sekonic C700, and this gives us uh, a picture of the color spectrum. Now, I'm used to using, you know, an old uh, uh, Minolta 2 meter, and uh, I was having some trouble on the uh, cooler end of the spectrum, so I'll show you that in a minute. But, um, so here we take 3200 on the sky panel, 3224, yep, it's right there. 4300, and we've got 4368, yep, so, there it is, and 5600, okay, so there I have 5672, so that's well within, uh, with, within range. And now if I were to use my other meter, uh, my older meter, and I've got 5100 Kelvin. So it has a difficult time even, even seeing that spectrum because it's used to seeing, you know, tungsten or sun. That, that's what this meter was based on. So the LED color spectrum is sort of a manufactured colored spectrum. So it, it takes out certain um, parts of the spectrum that aren't necessary for the light. And uh, this meter can see that. It, it's checking everything and uh, being much more specific about what kind of spectrum it's seeing. So um, now we'll also look at the difference of the spectrum that comes out of the sky panel and the spectrum that comes out of the HSX. So let's go to the HSX. So now here's the HSX at uh, 3200. Uh, let's check that out, uh, full intensity. Okay, so what do we have here? 3267, yep. 4300, so 4280, yep. And this is 5600. And we got 5550, yep, so there you go. Um, okay, now just for yucks, uh, I'm gonna turn this guy back on. Okay, so this is 5600 at 100. And now, if I stand in the way, Okay, that's one. And if I stand in the way of this one, now you can't see it, but there's a much uh, higher green spike in the, uh, the sky panel. So if I'm actually trying to take out green, if I use my old meter to look at green, uh, I'm seeing a plus three green from the sky panel and I'm seeing zero from the HSX. So interestingly enough, I can take out green with the dials on the sky panel, but I don't need to on the HSX. So yes, it's great that you can dial in plus minus green, you know, if you're in a, an environment that has a uh, Kinoflows or whatever that, or not Kinoflows, but I mean fluorescents that have that spike, um, or for whatever reason, you know, it's nice to be able to dial that in. On the other hand, if you're just using these units, um, you might have to actually dial in, dial out 
a little bit of green from the actual unit, whereas you would not have to do that with the HSX. Yeah, just a little tidbit. Um, now let's try uh, one last thing, and that is uh, which with the HSX, they've built in that ability to bump through, uh, you know, both color and intensity. So now what I have to do is um, put the incident meter um, using f-stops instead of foot candles and see if the uh, bump through mode on the HSX um, does what the marketing says it does. Okay, so we'll put this at 20% and we're 5,600. So 20%, I've got a 1.4, all right? I bump it up to uh, 40%. And I've got a two. Now I'm at the 60%, and I've got a two eight. 80%, I've got a four, and 100%, I've got a five six. So yeah, you can quickly bump through, and that adds, uh, you know, a, another stop of light, which is uh, pretty nice. It's like, hey, give me another stop. Boom, there you go. All right, um, you can dial it back down to you know half a stop if if you want, but. Uh, uh, that works out pretty well. And incidentally, you can put this on DMX and uh, 50 points on DMX out of 255, every 50 points from wherever you start is another stop. So that's pretty sweet as well. Uh, so there you go. The little uh, comparison between these two units, um, you know, pros and cons, uh, but uh, both uh, solid lights uh, give you a, a, a lot of uh, flexibility and um, you know I like a lot of things of, of, about the HSX the the bump through modes in both color and intensity I like the fact that you don't have to mess with a lot of extra cables um, and uh, I, I love the fact that there's Wi-Fi built in and you've got a light with a lot of punch so um, all good things and uh, it's just great that you know We've got manufacturers that are uh, uh, you know, trying to outdo each other in, in wonderful products. So uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next time.